All right, today we're gonna to be working with copper piping or tubing, but then a little different fashion. Uh, we've got a piece of soft copper tubing which comes in a roll. You can just roll it out and work with it. And we're gonna make a flare. And a flare is useful for hooking copper to devices, water faucets, uh, more likely to furnaces and gas appliances. Uh, most propane is flare fitting. Uh, you'll need, of course, your material, your copper, your flare nut. You'll need a reamer to cut the burr off the inside of the pipe. And this is just an old-fashioned flare block and flare tool. Uh, they're Imperial Eastman tools. Those tools are probably at least 30 years old and still functioning great. So you get what you pay for sometimes. Uh, good quality tools will last you a lifetime virtually if they're treated with any respect. Uh, the first thing we're going to do, we take our flare block. And this is what holds our copper piping as we're making the flare because it takes a great amount of pressure. The first thing the very first thing when you're flaring copper piping because you're likely to have 50 foot roll on this other end put the flare nut on the piping before you even start once you make the flare it's too late so we're going to slide this down on the piping then we're going to take the flare block we're going to insert the pipe into it I'm going to even it up and you want somewhere around a nickel's thickness or slightly less than a nickel protruding through the flare block. So let's get it set up here. And you crank the block down on the tubing. Once I get things lined up here, I'm going to chuck this in the vise so that I can be a little more steady and you can watch the process. Alright, we've got the copper tubing in the flare block and I've chucked it up in the vise. Our flare nut is already on the copper tubing. Remember, always put your flare nut on before you start this process. Now, Every time you cut a piece of copper with a copper cutter or tubing cutter, it leaves a small ridge inside of the tubing. You got to make every attempt to get that ridge cut down at least some. I don't know, half. Now, this is a little pipe reamer. There's other types, more expensive types, but this seems to work pretty well. You just run it around inside, it swivels, and it cuts that ridge out of that pipe. Now if you don't remove that ridge, I'm not saying you will have a leak, but you could. So let's try and keep the leaks to a minimum so we only do this one time. Now I'm going to put the flare tool on the block. I'm going to run it down. Until it comes in contact with our copper. Now, if everything's right, it's just a matter of cranking this till it seats in the flare block. Crank it down with moderate pressure. Take it off. And there is a typical flare. Now, Let's take our flare fitting here and put it in there and you can see that the angles of the fitting and the angles of the flare match up. There's angles, uh, it's a 45 I believe, unimportant, it's just important that the angles match up. Well, let's take the copper out of the flare block and see if we've done any good here. Alright. Now that's our flare. 
Even cleaning it up, it looks a little rough, but I think it's going to be fine. Slip your flare nut back up. You're going to have something like that. Then we're going to take our flare fitting and put into our flare nut. We'd be using two wrenches, cranking this down tight, and it'll seal right up. And these are brass fittings. Don't be afraid to lubricate those threads just a little bit as you're cranking them together. If, they're, if they give you any trouble at all, put a little lubricant on just the threads. And you'll have yourself a successful flare, and your appliance will be ready to fire up. Sure hope this helps. Uh, it's, it's really simple. It's just a matter of having the right tools and techniques.